Hello, this is Paul Bo Perkins, and welcome back to Let's Play Willy Beamish. Turbo Frog is asleep. Uh, you actually missed a little cutscene where Gigi got all impressed with his muscles, but that even motivated Horny even more because he wanted to live up to. Um, anyway, I uh, my system crashed. I'm not having the best luck with this stuff, um, but we are going to play the game anyway. I got everything recovered and we're back in the same place. I sure hope you win the prize, Willie. Oh, Willie, this is so exciting. Good luck in the contest, long guy. Dork. Hans, I'm sure it's that hurting Turbo Frog. He's going to win this race. The race will start real soon, Sonny. How soon? Real soon. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome all of you to the annual Toot Sweet Frog Jump. This is a very special occasion for two reasons. First, we're introducing Diet Slam Dunk Cola here today for the very first time. It has all the punch you'd expect from regular Slam Dunk Cola, but only two calories. It's made with Toot Sweet, naturally. Please help yourself to a complimentary cup, but even more important, I just want to say what an honor and privilege it is to be able to give something back to our community. The Too Sweet Annual Frog Jump is our way of saying thank you to the people of Frumpton. So on behalf of Too Sweet, enjoy yourselves and may the best frog win. And I can't wait to sink my teeth into a big plate of frog legs. Seems like strange motivation for her, but, I mean, I guess they couldn't, like, you know, let her do anything without having malicious purposes, so, has to be some evil motivation behind this frog jump contest. Alright, let's do this. Alright, you know the rules. No kicking, spinning, or foul language. No chemicals, preservatives, or additives. No pinching, no punching. Start the race already! Good luck, Willie. Thanks, Dana. You're so cool and fun. Thanks for all your help. Thanks, Dana. On your marks, get set. Woo! Go! Would have been a lot different of a scene if it would have been a little bit lower of a shot. Not, not as comical. Okay, here's how you race. You have to hit the button whenever it's at the top of the red gets all the way to the top and then you hit it. You can't um, do it any other time or you lose. So yeah! So, see we actually got second place behind GG, but, and I would always reset the game because, you know, you, you're supposed to win, right? But there's no way to win the race, legally. Um, you have to get second, and you'll see why. I got one over there. Get him before he gets away. Bag that sucker. I got him. I don't got him. Horny! I think that was horny, at least. So frogs aren't. So we need to chase him into the... Security guard doesn't seem too happy with us. Let's go get our frog. Only, as long as you know, our only important motivations are family, frog, and Nintari. Then you know which direction to follow in this game. I sure was surprised to see reporters at my house this morning. They're nothing but vultures. Toss them a bone and they'll go away. Everybody seems so upset about this plumber strike. I think Tootsweet should intercede, you know, act as a mediator before this thing turns into a full-scale crisis. You're not being paid to think. Besides, one man's crisis is another, another man's business opportunity. 
What if the sludge works actually shuts down? What if sludge backs up? Where's this stuff gonna go? What are we gonna tell the people? That's your problem. Tell them whatever they want to hear. But sinks and toilets are stopped up all over town. The sewers are starting to overflow. We won't be able to make any more toot sweet. What's the matter, Gordon? Can't take the heat. Your sniveling, bleeding heart attitude is starting to annoy me. I thought you were slick. I thought you could finesse your way around anything. What am I supposed to do? Tell the good people of Frumpton everything is hunky dory when their city is about to be sludged? Do you expect me to lie to my friends, my neighbors, and my own family? Of course. Isn't that what public relations is all about? Uh, looking for somebody? Yeah, I was looking for my frog. Have you seen him? I'll ask questions. What were you doing listening on a private conversation? I thought I heard my dad in there. Yeah, and I'm Santa Claus. You're coming with me. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Santa. I asked you once, now I'm going to ask you again. Why were you trespassing? I'm telling you the truth. My frog jumped into the lobby after the contest. Please, mister, have to find him. He must be scared. Name? Horny. First name? Willie Horny. This is security. This is Miss Humphrey. I want every last frog rounded up and delivered to my mansion. Yes, Miss Humphrey. Oh, oh, look on the video screen. Look, there he is. the last one. I'll send him right over, man. Uh-oh. Horny's in trouble big time. I gotta rescue Horny. Trespassing. Eavesdropping. Let's see. Under Statute 344.131 under Section C of the Municipal Code of Frumpton. It says here we gotta report this incident to the authorities. Please, sir. Let me out of here. What's the matter, kid? You got something else on your social agenda? First, we're gonna have to fill out form D12 and triplicate. Then we're gonna have to verify your identity and... Please, before it's too late. Are we having fun yet? Guess I have to put in a call to the Frumpton Police. Yeah, don't do that. Okay, so there, here's a puzzle that you probably wouldn't figure out. Put the chain with the key. And then, that makes it a magic hypnotizing device somehow. So you gotta do that. How do you figure that out? So, also, this is copy protection. So if you don't own a copy of this game, look away so you don't know that the secret answer that you would find in the manual is Hoopa Coulier Agamemnon. Okay? Uh, um, okay, you can look. Okay, so now we can leave. Let's get out of here. Let's cheese it. Congratulations, young man. You win second prize. Here's a check made out for $2,500. And there's a brand new Yamasaki jet ski waiting for you down at Dumpling River. I'll get my money later. I gotta save horny. That's not all. You're gonna get a year's supply of new Diet Slam Dunk Cola and a Toot Sweet t-shirt valued at eleven ninety-five. dollars uh, I don't care. <laughs> we really gotta save our frog, man. That's how it goes. Frog, family, and friends, friends. All right, now we're here on the dock. Uh, I think, man, hold on a second. I gotta pause the video. I forgot to bring up my little thing to tell me what to do next. All right, I'm back. We need to get on the jump ski. Now, um, like I said, you can't ever win the game, but second prize is good enough. You actually need to get second because you need that jet ski, and $25 is plenty to get yourself in the Nintari Championships. Wow, check out the components on this baby. We will check out the components. Um, you need the jet ski and you need the $2,500, so the $25,000 isn't going to do you any good, and there's no way to get it anyway. So we took the radio out of the jet ski because we need it later for radio stuff. Let's get out of here. All 
Alright, so now we have a jet ski to get around. And we are going to go to a new area of the map, Humphrey Mansion. I think that's the name of it. Humphrey Mansion. I know Leona lives here. That's all we need to know, really. I'm glad sure that guy uh I'm glad I'm sure glad that guy is asleep. So yeah, that guy is asleep. Let's save the game here. And eh, we have time for a little bit more. Let's go into the mansion. It looks like a haunted house. Specifically like uh the like haunted house of Disney. Alright, so now we're in the mansion. We talk to this parrot. Don't you think I'm pretty? Best beak in the city. I could watch myself all day. See my gorgeous feathers, multicolored treasures. Don't you want to talk and play? Well, don't you? Sure. Hi, what's your name? If you're rude or dismissive at him at all, he squawks and gives you away. There are people in this building that can kill you and they will kill you, literally. Arthur, what's your name, honey? Willie Beamish. Most parrots talk, but I can sing, too. Here's a little tune I put together myself. Somewhere over the sludge works, Harry waits for me. Uh, I do think someone else wrote that, but... Uh, you have to say, who's Harry? See that portrait over there? That's my beloved Harry. He invented Toot Sweet. When Harry passed away, he passed me on to Leona along with the Toot Sweet company. Such sweet sorrow. Oh my gosh, Parrot. You memorized a lot of words. Alright. Yeah, we can't. We can't. We have to stay focused on him. Do you have any idea what it's like to live with that two faced, two -faced tacky tramp? My poor dear Harry, when Leona and Louie get all that West Frumpton land, they're going to be dancing on his grave. Maybe he should be buried at sea. They can't do that, can they? I'm afraid so. If the two tweet operation stops for any reason, Leona will inherit the sludge works and all the land. It's in Harry's will. Dance goodbye, sludge works. Hello, Humphrey's world. I don't see how any will could operate that way, but, you know, whatever. Alright, that's all he has to say, and that's about all the time we have for this video, so um, go ahead and like the video and subscribe, it would really help me out, but until next time, my name is Paul Bo Brookins, and we will see you then.